great today in like the last five hours um, just for this event because it's quite a personal thing. So if you guys can relate to any of these issues, don't hesitate to come talk to Michael because I'll have a conversation. Um, so yeah, this is called uh, this poem is called Letter to My Ex. I think I need to move on from my old plane. Not because I still have feelings, but because when I got invited to this event and I shot the next name, it was like I think about was writing about me. Lisa Ann. For those of you who don't know, Lisa Ann was the world's most famous porn star. So you can imagine my surprise when she first told me and how every other guy would just end up in laughter, especially as her Snapchat name, Snapchat name meant receiving unsolicited dick pics on a daily. But I didn't care about any of that. Not really. Lisa Ann, it was your charismatic, kind heart that warms mine. How a half Japanese, half Welsh girl like you could be so attractive and funny at the same time. We clicked as soon as you moved into my university. Our first night out, I made sure you got back home to home safely. I didn't want to make a move so quickly, yet you kissed me on our fourth night out for clarity. To confirm all the stories circulating our hall about me were true, how I've always been open with everyone about my sexual history. My first experiences were with an elderly woman I met at Shisha Bar baby. Since I was a just a teenager back then, I didn't stop to realise she was taking advantage of me completely. She just saw a kind Asian boy with a peculiar face, long white tongue, sharp teeth and caterpillar eyebrows. Perfect to be groomed and aroused. It's a shame the law, that law still states a woman cannot rape a man. That shit gets me both. But I guess that's a poem for another day. Still, this woman taught me everything I needed to know about sex. Too many positions, kinky fetishes, and which cheese spots I could play. And that this led me to a life of friends with benefits, doing everything I could to make sure all girls were truly pleasured, each one after the next. So you, Lisa Ann, just wanted to confirm that these stories were true and that I really was quality. Then one kiss led to another, and before I knew it, we were both having sex constantly. I remember the day I gave you your first ever orgasm. I picked you up from the kitchen counter and carried you to my bed. Massaged my fingers around your body, clenching your muscles that you didn't think could be clenched. Teased you with my tongue until I could feel your palm sweat on my neck, curling, swirling it, tip, swirling its tip up, down, and around as your toes started curling. Your back shivers and arches up to heaven, releasing sweet cum into my throat. And my dick seeps in hard and deep, so your eyes roll back further with the louder you moan. You said to me in all the past relationships, <laughs> you said to me in all the past relationships and guys you fucked before. No one had ever made love to you, made you feel so good and wet that you'd always want more. Then you said we should go out, and then together we remained exclusive. I fell in love with you, especially after the love and care you gave me. You taught me how to self-love, and all the way from thinking myself was useless. So I'm thankful for all your help with my confidence and self-esteem. Seven months into our relationship, you wanted to switch degrees from chemistry to human biology. And to do that, you need to drop out of university and you start again as a freshman in September. We agreed to do long distance and that you visit regularly. As a goodbye before you left, I gave you a quick rough fuck to well remember. A few months later, when you decided to visit, I was so excited to see you. And I was so bummed out on your first night back when I had to stay in before for a video deadline. You go out and have a good night without me. Take my key card, of course, and so you can also see me later. Come through to my room. But what followed was a night of events I struggled to understand reasons why. For a long, re for a long time, never giving me peace of mind. I don't know why you went to his house. My place was free, as it always has been for us. You could have slept for hours peacefully. I was just editing a video as quietly as a mouse. I don't know why you called me, saying I miss you just before now. But because you needed someone to stay for hours, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. I know why you texted me the next morning. He was supposed to be my friend and sussed everyone would tell me what happened in the club that night. And I asked him for every dirty little detail so every shit bit of evidence came to light. I don't know why you cheated on me. We were still together, our passion and love were genuine and we never broke up. You couldn't stop apologizing after you realized love and sex could never be as good as it is with me, still admitting to this day how much you fucked up. I don't know how I can trust a woman fully once more. I didn't think it would take this much time to heal something so badly torn after you broke my heart, which is very poor. Cool. But finishing up writing this poem today, I'm starting to think it's not me who needs to move on. My old flame, Lisa Ann, I think it's you. You're the one who needs to move on, so my old horse finally had to.